Hello and welcome to the War of the Lush Shields. Hello to all the wonderful humans. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well and welcome. I am Aboli and I make science-based skincare and hair care videos. If you are interested in that space, then consider subscribing to my channel. In today's video, we are going to compare these two sunscreens from La Shield. This is the La Shield Fisco Matte Gel, one of the few mineral sunscreens that is really good in the Indian market. And the second is from their new range. It is the Urban Protect uh, sunscreen. And this is SPF 50, PA++ and it says it's a mineral sunscreen gel. So, let's start with the comparison. The first category is price. The price of the La Shield Fisco Matte Gel is 630 for 50 grams which gives 50 SPF PA++++. And the price of this is extremely good. It's 280 for 50 grams, which gives SPF 50 and PA++ protection. So considering just these factors, I would definitely give one point to the new La Shield. Let's come to the packaging. Both of them come in tubes. This uh, comes in the screw top uh, and this comes in this click kind of uh, packaging. Uh, so both the packagings are really good and there isn't much to talk about this. I would give both of these sunscreens one one point. Now let's come to the most important and that is the texture of the sunscreen. Are you ready? Let's go. We are going to start with the Fisco Matte Gel. You guys have seen this sunscreen. I've used the sunscreen many times. It has a very silicone finish. I'm going to put it on my right hand. It's very silicone-y. It takes a little time to settle on your skin. It does not leave a white cast. You just need to work on it a little. So this is the final product. If you can see, it does not leave a lot of white cast, but it's very silicone-y. It's silicone-y and it's also greasy as you can see it's it's slippery it's it's greasy so don't expect this to be matte as written on the packaging it is not a matte sunscreen they have tried but it's not a matte sunscreen it does leave a very greasy finish okay now let's talk about this new la shield a lot of expectations i have to say lot a lot a lot are you guys ready let's go hmm uh, the scary part of this is that they haven't mentioned on the packaging that it's matte. They have said that it's suitable for all skin types, but they haven't said that it's matte. So it's a little scary. <laughs> it smells really bad. It smells like detergent powder. It smells like Tide or Surfixel or something like that. Like downright smells like detergent powder. That's scary. <laughs> okay and oh my god just look at that <laughs> oh this is going to leave a white cast Ooh. Ooh. how much time do you think i'm going to need to settle this in my skin i am going to bet on five minutes would you guys like to bet on it? Yeah, put it down in the comment section. How much time do you think I'm gonna need to? Oh my God, this does not settle in your skin at all. What is happening? <laughs> okay, this is, yeah. Yeah, it's been five minutes and I think nobody can rub their face for more than five minutes. And yeah, so now I'm just going to stop rubbing. I can still feel the sunscreen on the surface of the skin, but it's it's been five minutes and it's I can't rub a bit more than this, right? So are you guys ready to see if it leaves a white cast or not? Yeah, let's see this. Ooh, this is the uh, complexion of my skin. And this is the white cast. It doesn't happen with the other lash shield. You see these two, uh, the shade is the same. But that's not the case. 
case with this you see how wide this is in comparison to my fingers so the la shield urban protect sp50 definitely leaves a really bad white cast yeah the white cast is real man okay i'm also going to talk about the texture on my skin and this is the video when i applied it on my skin as what i experienced with my hand it does not get absorbed in your skin and it leaves a horrible white cast with the white cast it also leaves your skin so greasy so sticky and i just couldn't breathe in the uh, sunscreen that i was wearing and the smell is really bad it smells like a detergent powder so i removed a little bit with a tissue paper and then i waited for 1 2 hours and then i shot this and you can see my face is extremely greasy and you can see the difference uh, where the sunscreen is and where it isn't you can see the white cast right <laughs> so when it comes to the texture and white cast, I don't think this is a good enough sunscreen. I mean, it's affordable. It costs 280 but it still costs 280 What are you going to do after you spend 280 and this doesn't suit your skin, right? And, it, it, and the packaging is quite misleading. If you can see, it's written, it's a mineral sunscreen gel. Now, let me tell you that this is not a mineral sunscreen. The second ingredient is octinoxate which is a chemical filter uh, and it is also not a gel as you guys have seen it is a cream based sunscreen or a lotion based sunscreen but it is definitely not a gel so it's very very misleading apart from that it says that it uh, uh, protects you from the pollution and it actually forms a defense against the microparticulate pollutants now maybe maybe it does but just imagine this that you're wearing this sticky greasy heavy sunscreen on your face in maybe a city like mumbai or kolkata where it's really polluted and it's really hot and humid and you go out don't you think that dust and pollution is actually going to come and stick on your face because it's, it's very 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 sticky i think this is one of the worst sunscreens to use outside in uh, polluted cities now these are the claims that this one makes and we have seen that it does not live up to its claims uh, let's see if the La Shield Fisco matte gel lives up to its claims now what they say is that it is a matte sunscreen gel again it is not matte neither it is it a gel but it is more like a cream which is a silicone based cream and the La Shield one also says that it is water resistant for 8 hours so I tested both of these sunscreens to see if they are water resistant I put the Fisco matte gel on the right side and the new mineral sunscreen on the left side and I splashed water on it as you can see on the right side small droplets of water on the skin that is because it, the water cannot be absorbed in the skin as there's a layer of water resistant sunscreen whereas on the new La Shield sunscreen side you can see some of the sunscreen has already been washed off by water and it is definitely not waterproof or water resistant the La Shield Fisco matte gel is water resistant but it is not sweat resistant so don't compare these two things when it comes to claims and if the sunscreen lives up to it i'll say the la shield is a better choice than this one now let's talk about the ingredients so let's go and see the chart now let's discuss about the most important aspect and that is the ingredients you can see that the la shield fisco matte gel has 25 percent of micronized zinc oxide this zinc oxide gives all of the protection in this sunscreen it's a pure mineral sunscreen whereas the La Shield mineral sunscreen urban protect is a hybrid sunscreen and not a mineral sunscreen octinoxate is a chemical filter it works against UVB radiation it is not a stable filter like it is not photostable but it is a good enough filter for UVB radiations then we have zinc oxide and titanium dioxide both of them are ingredients that we would use in a physical or inorganic sunscreen both of them act against the whole uv light spectrum then we have bis ethyl hexylophenol methoxyphenyl trizine <laughs> it is a really good chemical filter it is photostable and 
it is a broad spectrum chemical filter which protects against UVA and UVB so it's a great ingredient to have in a sunscreen then we have diethyl amino hydroxy benzoyl hexyl benzoate it is again a chemical filter is very very photostable and it protects you against UVA the next is diethyl hexyl butamidotriazone again a chemical filter it is very very photostable and it protects you against UVB radiation again a good chemical filter to have in your sunscreen the uh, new La Shield does have good chemical filters in it and the base of this sunscreen is made up of a large amount of emollients and fatty alcohols which is why it gives more of a cream lotion like feeling whereas the La Shield one has less of emollients and more of dimethicones or silicone in the base. The Lashiel Fisco Matte Gel is fragrance free whereas the new Lashiel is not fragrance free and it has a really bad fragrance actually. So according to the ingredient list it's very tricky because the Lashiel one uh, has just one ingredient that is 25% zinc oxide does the job but it's just one ingredient whereas the new Lashiel has a mixture of chemical and physical filters. Both of them give good amount of protection. But the fragrance changes the game for me and that is why I will give Fisco Matte Gel one point in this too. The La Shield Urban Protect Mineral Sunscreen Gel does not live up to our expectations and the claims on the packaging at all. So ding ding ding, this has won this comparison and I do not recommend you guys to buy this. and. That's it. Until next time. Bye.